What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Capricorn sun sign friends. If you're born between the dates of December 22nd and January 19th then you're a Capricorn sun sign and this video is for you. Today we're going to be doing a reading for love and romance. Uh, this is going to be a two-part reading. The first half of the reading is going to be for those Capricorns who are currently in a relationship. And the second half of the reading is going to be for those Capricorns who are currently single. So you're free to skip to the part of the reading that pertains to you. Uh, before we get any further, I'd like to introduce you to my crystalline friends. First, we've got a Rhodonite Sphere here. And uh, this crystal emanates the energy of giving love to others and uh, being a part of the whole. Uh, we've also got Sodalite Sphere here, and this is about connecting to your intuition and your psychic abilities, which is going to help me on this reading. And then we've got the energy of Rose Quartz here, which is just the energy of pure love. So these crystals are going to help out in this reading, I hope. I'm going to be using the Llewellyn Classic Tarot. This is a fun, quirky, kind of cartoony deck, which I love a lot, but uh, it still packs a punch. Uh, I did a deck review of this if you want to go see that. Uh, so please give me a moment to center myself and ask the tarot cards a question. What are the energies of Capricorn sun signs who are currently in a relationship as it pertains to love and romance? All right, that ought to do it. We're going to cut the deck and we're going to deal out five cards. Very good. Now we're also going to ask the Earth Magic Oracle what message it has for Capricorn sun signs who are currently in a relationship. What message it has for Capricorns who are currently in a relationship perfect all right what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna look at that card at the end uh we're gonna go through these cards individually and then see what they say as a whole the first card here represents your current energies for those who are in a relationship and we've got the five of wands Remember, this is a general overall reading, so not everything's going to apply to everyone in a specific way. So take what works for you and leave the rest. For those of you who are in a relationship, I get the feeling that there's a little bit of conflict going on. There's a little bit of back and forth. Now, this is not... The Five of Wands doesn't suggest like big, huge conflicts that uh, would result in terrible things. This is more about the small little battles we have on a daily basis that kind of uh, make things not as fun as they could be. Not seeing eye to eye with your partner, you know, oh, they left a toilet seat up, you know, that sort of thing <laughs> that uh, uh, kind of, you know, gets in between people. So I do feel like there's a little bit of conflict there with your partner. I don't know specifically what the conflict is about, but I do feel like there's a little bit of fighting going on. Um, we'll see what the other cards say and see how that relates to your, your situation. But uh, this card here represents the energies of your partner. And we've got temperance. I feel as though your partner is trying to maintain balance and order and is just trying to keep things moving, okay? I feel like your partner is the one in this relationship who is striving for equilibrium, who is trying to keep things under control. Uh, I do feel maybe at this time that you're maybe the little bit more chaotic one who's causing rifts. Not, you're not causing it. I mean, it takes two people to cause a rift, but you're the one that's more uh, investing into the rift while your partner is the one trying to um, maintain his or her emotions and uh, just keep things on an even keel, basically. So I, I feel like your partner is sort of the rock in this relationship, at least at this time right now. So, uh, yeah, okay, interesting. This card, uh, we're going to go to the next card. This card represents what's currently working in the relationship. We've got the Seven of Wands. Give me a moment with this card. All right, I get the feeling that what's working is that 
Uh, you guys are on solid ground. I think there's a good foundation in this relationship, and I think you're both willing to fight for the relationship. You know that it's a, a positive relationship, and whatever strife you know you guys have, I get the feeling that you're both willing to stand up for this relationship and make it work. And uh, you know, you may have these little small qu quabbles. Is that a word? Quabble? I don't think that's a word. You may have these little small. <laughs> You have these little small battles, but you're still willing to um, to fight for the relationship, and you know it's a positive relationship. And I think you're both very um, you you're, you're getting behind this relationship, and you're making sure that it works. And uh, that's a very good thing. You're gonna fight for it. I like that. This card represents what's not working in the relationship, and we've got the King of Swords. I get the sense here that. There, maybe there's a little bit too much ego going on. Maybe that's the source of these little battles that we're, we're experiencing here. But a little bit too much ego as far as one of the people. Uh, maybe this is both, but I get the feeling that one of the people is just, you know, very ego. Not egotistical, but ego-driven. I think those are two very different things. Not that they think they're very ultra-important, but that they're being led around by their ego mind more than anything else, and they just listen to their ego, and they do what their ego says. And You know, they're intelligent. I get the feeling that they're very smart and very logical, but uh, that's only one aspect of what it takes to be a well-rounded human being, and I get the feeling there's like one of the... Maybe this is you, maybe this is your partner, but one of you is a little bit too much in the ego mind and is not consulting your intuition, not consulting your emotions enough is the feeling i get from that card and that's what's not working in the relationship that needs to to change i think you every human being needs to be more well-rounded when we make decisions or how we act in this world and and consult our emotions and our intuition as well as our logic mind okay this card represents where you are headed in the future and we have the ten of wands <laughs> I'm not trying to be negative, I just call them as I see them, but I do think that these little battles that you've been having are going to start to uh, weigh heavily. I think they're going to add up and, you know, your partner's, you know, trying to keep things balanced, you're you're having some sort of issue, I don't know what it is, or it's a bunch of different small issues, but I do feel like that in the future, those little issues are going to add up to the point where there's going to be just some exhaustion, not that there's going to be like, I mean, you guys are fighting for the relationship, so it's not going to dissolve, but it's just going to lead to just like, I need a break, you know? This is too much. So uh, I would encourage you to try to tone down any you know little thing that your partner does that upsets you. Kind of dial it back a notch, all right? Accept them for who they are. Yes, they're not just like you, uh, and that's why you like them. I mean, if they were just like you, you probably wouldn't give them the time of day, you know, right? We like differences in our relationships, so they balance us out. And I think your partner's doing a great job of doing the balancing in this relationship. I do think that you guys are both fighting for it. Uh, you're going to push through no matter what happens, the sense I'm getting, and, and that's a great thing. Uh, but make sure that uh, ego is not getting too involved in things because that could derail a relationship. And uh, I do see that maybe some uh, fatigue, maybe. Uh, not necessarily fatigue, but just like it's it's going to be too much. So I really highly recommend you to try to figure out what the source of this conflict and try to squash it as soon as possible because it's not going to help if you allow it to get, grow out of control. All right, last thing we're going to do is uh, we had a message from the Earth Magic Oracle uh, concerning what Capricorns in a relationship, what message they need to receive. And we've got Spring Equinox Rebirth. Okay, uh, definitely I get the feeling that something needs to change. You know, when you think we go through winter and it's a quiet, cold introspective time and then uh, the the spring equinox comes and you know everything comes to life springs to life there's new energy all around and i think that's what needs to occur here i think uh yes you you have a, a a strong relationship but i do feel like there's something that needs to change i think we need to come into the equinox so to speak of your relationship to the point where um it's almost like it feels like a new relationship so i do feel like change is necessary i feel like for whatever reason that you're feeling kind of uh this fighting energy i think you need to discover why that is and what that is so that you can fix that and i think uh that's what this card is suggesting it's time for a rebirth as far as the way you look see and feel about this relationship all right i hope that helped what we're gonna do now is uh, we're going to do the reading for those Capricorns who are single. All 
All right, that ought to do it. What we're going to do is cut the deck and deal out five cards. All right, and we're going to consult the Earth Magic Oracle and ask us what mess ask it what message it has for Capricorn sun signs who are currently single. Oh, what message do you have for Capricorn sun signs? Jeez, I got cards flying out all over the place today. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Okay, what message do you have for Capricorn sun signs who are single? And we will look at that card at the end. All right, so what we're going to do is look at these cards individually and then see what they say as a whole. The first card we're going to look at here represents your energies currently, and we've got the Strength card. I want you to remember that this is a general reading and not everything's going to pertain to everyone in a specific way, so take what works for you and leave the rest. For those who are single, I get the Strength card, and uh, this card is pretty self-explanatory. Um, think of a, a lion, and, uh, or actually even better yet, think of a woman who's tamed a lion. <laughs> and that's the kind of strength that I feel that you're embodying right now. I, I feel like you guys are pretty secure w with where you're at. You know, a lot of times uh, some people are like, oh, I need a partner to feel happy about myself. But uh, I'm not getting that feeling from you guys right now. I think that you guys are very independent is the feeling I'm getting, and you guys are very strong, and uh, you you'll take a partner if one comes along but you're not going to like aggressively seek one simply because you guys are just feeling so um, strong and balanced and uh, you know just independent at this time so interesting energy for you guys this card here represents blockages that you may have on your path to finding romance and we've got the star some major arcanas here and uh, the star is about being open and uh, exposed and honest and uh, I get the sense here that you're not those things necessarily I think I get the feeling that maybe a lot of you are feeling a little bit closed off whether you realize it or not um, I think uh, blockage is that you're not really showing your true colors you're not being real with yourself about your emotions and you know you're not, definitely not expressing your total emotions to the outside world is the feeling I'm getting from this so it's hard for people to be attracted to you if you're a little bit closed off you know what I mean and if you're a little bit uh, standoffish uh, so this card is suggesting you know in order to remove these blockages you have to be more willing to delve deeper into your emotions and really feel what emotions you're feeling and be honest with yourself about them and then share those with other people you know not overly so but you know be open to people and uh, you know show them the deeper darker aspects of yourself and I think that'll help to remove some blockages from from your uh, energetic field this card here represents what you can improve. And we've got the Six of Wands. And I'm getting the feeling of confidence. Uh, you know, we talked about the Strength card, but uh, the Strength doesn't necessarily denote confidence. And I think what you need to improve is confidence in yourself and your abilities. Um, people look up to you. They see you as, you know, a source of strength. Right? So they see you as a person who can be a leader and someone who's got things figured out. And you need to realize that and remember that and take that with you as you go into the dating scene or wherever it is you're trying to find a partner if you are. And uh, I think confidence is going to help you a lot. It's, gonna, it's so easy to say though, you know, to have more confidence. But uh, it's actually pretty easy. It's just a matter of telling yourself these things over and over until you believe them. I am confident. You know, you keep telling yourself that, eventually you're going to start to believe it. So, uh, positive affirmations could help with that, I think. This card here represents what to avoid on your quest for a partner. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. And maybe an overindulgence in work is something to avoid. Um, not just work, but maybe finances. Uh, thinking too much about the, the physical aspects of this world. Your car, your money, your job, your house, whatever. Uh, a focus on those things, on the physical, on the tangible, is something that's going to kind of hinder you on your path. We need to be more in touch with your emotions, Capricorn friends, and um, less in touch with the earth realms is basically what this card is suggesting. Uh, so that you are... Um, Maybe, you know, not so preoccupied with the distractions of this world. And you can be a little bit more focused on love and romance and finding a partner. So definitely something to avoid is just, you know, being a little bit too grounded. Yes, you can be too grounded. It's a possibility. <laughs> okay, and I get the feeling that that's what this, what this card is saying to you is to avoid um, being too focused on the tangible. 
This card here represents where you are headed, and we've got Justice. And uh, I think this is an evening of the scales. Interesting, we've got a lot of Major Arcana here, but I think things are going to work out for you if you want them to. Uh, I think what this card is saying is whatever you put into this quest for uh, romance is what you will get out of it. Uh, this is sort of like an evening of karma. Whatever energy you put in is what you're going to get out. And, uh, you know, you might get your what you get out might be magnified but you know that's the same energy you're just going to get more of it so if you put in um you know low self-confidence you're going to get more low self-confidence if you put in uh wait what did i say if you put in <laughs> if you put in low self-confidence you're going to get more low self-confidence is what i'm trying to say if you put in more confidence you're going to get more confidence and everything you're going to receive is magnified so whatever you put in is what you get out uh, looking at these cards as a whole, I do see that you need to be a little bit more real with yourself. Get in touch with your true emotions, with your deep down soul. And um, yes, you're strong, and you're you know you're you're a good earner. You you bring abundance to you. Yes. Uh, but that's not as important when you're considering looking for a partner. That stuff doesn't matter. And, and if anything, it's just going to get in your way. Uh, but you do need to be more in touch with your emotions and share those emotions and be more open and exposed to other people so that they have something to, um, to relate to uh, with you. Um, yeah, and whatever you, you put in, that's what you're going to get out. So if you want to find a partner and you do these things, you will find a partner. And that's just the way it goes. But if you don't, then you will continue to not have a partner, basically. So it's up to you. Ball's in your corner. Okay, let's ask the Earth Magic Oracle what message it had for Capricorns who are single at this time. Oh, that's a bright card. <laughs> we got Summer Solstice Radiance. And... I think this card is, you know, goes hand in hand with the confidence issue. Uh, the sun has no low self-esteem. No, no low confidence issues. It just it just shines as brightly as it possibly can it and uh i think that's what this card is suggesting you need to shine as brightly as you possibly can don't be afraid of what people are going to think about you don't be afraid of you know um sacrificing the tangible things of this world don't be afraid of you know what uh, inner emotions are inside of you don't be afraid of letting those out just be you unequivocally and uh, unquestioningly and don't worry about other people. Just be you and be a beacon and be a light and shine your light and people will see that light and they will be attracted to it like moths to a flame. So um, that's really all you have to do to attract someone is just be you unquestioningly. Okay, that is the reading. I hope you got something out of that. Uh, remember, this was a general reading. If you want a more specific reading tailored just for you, then head on over to my Etsy shop. I'll put a link in the description and in the card. And you can just click that and see what kind of readings I offer to help you get down to the bottom of any issue that you might have. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. It lets me know I did something right and that you enjoyed it and um, to keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put those in the comment section below. And I'll, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about these readings. It really helps me out as well. And also, if you really enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing because I do these tarot scope readings bi-monthly. And I also sprinkle in a bunch of videos around those. So there's plenty to see. So you don't want to miss out on that. So please subscribe. All right, guys. That's going to do it for me. I wish you so much luck on your journey. Capricorn friends and uh, you don't need it. All right. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy tarotting. Peace.